But one of the biggest competitions in all of pro sports happens not out on the playing field, but on the sidelines. It's the battle to become a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. Correspondent Michael Scott traveled to Texas to watch the wannabes show their stuff for this weekend's Inside Story. It begins on a chilly morning outside Texas Stadium, where the world champion Dallas Cowboys play football. 700 young women have gathered for a chance to become cheerleaders for the Super Bowl winners. There are newcomers like Kimberly Land, Bronlyn Toole, and Gigi Pittman. There are veterans like Nicole Anselmo and Christina Carr, all of them fighting for one of the highest profile jobs in all of sports. All of these pressure-packed tryouts are important for one reason. When it's showtime, the girls will be down here in front of 65,000 screaming Dallas fans. Fans who know what they expect from a cowboy cheerleader. For more than 20 years, being a Dallas cheerleader has been something special. They've had their own movie starring Jane Seymour, and cowboy cheerleaders have been all over the world on USO tours. Their uniform is instantly recognizable everywhere. But on this second day of tryouts, the 700 are now 80 finalists. And from this group will come the final team. Among those picking the squad is Kelly McGonigal, director of Cowboy Cheerleading. Kelly, what does it take to be a Dallas Cowboy Cheerleader, and what are you looking for? At the auditions today, we're looking for enthusiasm, we're looking for sparkle, and I try to find women that get attention, that are fun to watch, they're entertaining, they're fun dancers, they're poised, they're pleasant, they're very warm and genuine, but they're flashy and they're fun to watch. Over a period of four hours, 80 finalists, including veteran Christina Carr, will get five minutes each to display their best talent in hopes of convincing the judges that they should be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. The Most dance. One plays the piano. Veteran Nicole Anselmo sings, as does newcomer Gigi Pittman. Ron Lynn Toole plays the flute. And Kimberly Land dances with a movie star. What made you decide to use Mickey Mouse? Well, it fits my personality. I'm real uppity, so I thought it was a perfect, perfect prop. The tryouts go on and on as newcomers and veterans show their stuff. The one and only harsh reality about being a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader is that everyone must try out every year, and each year, some returning veterans don't make it. It's real tough. It's devastating. They, they've poured their life into our organization for a year, and then all of a sudden it's cut off overnight. Newcomer Pittman, who's from Denton, Texas, has been feeling the pressure from the very beginning of the tryouts. It's just been extremely stressful the whole time. Um, that's all you think about. Did you ever want to say, what am I doing? Let me just get the heck out of this. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. You wouldn't imagine the physical strain that goes onto your body. You have to constantly work out, make sure that you're completely in good health. The final stage of the tryout is a written test, which naturally includes football questions. And then it's time to announce the names of the 40 girls who have made the team. Kimberly Land. It is both a joyous and agonizing experience as the odds lower for those who are still seated. Three, Nicole and Selma. And when all the names are called, five veterans are not among those who will represent the Cowboys. Among those who will is Gigi Pittman. How do you feel? <laughs> Fantastic. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is great. At the end of this very long and very tense day, 19 newcomers have been teamed with 21 veterans. So there you have it, the new Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. From Irving, Texas, I'm Michael Scott, Entertainment Tonight. Thank you, Michael. Tough work. Those chosen few who made the squad are now in a grueling training camp, just like their counterparts on the football team will be. But there is a difference once the season starts, while the men on the field are earning their millions. The cheerleading ladies will be paid exactly $15 per performance.